Today we're going to show you how to turn a lemon into a battery. You need a copper nail. And a zinc nail. Or a nail coated in zinc. And then we're going to test it. Now our zinc uh, nails, we had to uh, we got to scratch it off with a knife right there in order to get a reading on the multimeter. We already did that. But keep that in mind if you do this experiment and you go get zinc nails or zinc coated nails. In order to get a reading, you're going to have to scrape some of the zinc off of it. We're getting almost a volt. We're getting 0.91 out of that one lemon. We're going to link six lemons together. And then we're going to um, try and power some stuff with it. We'll come back to you when we have that done. Alright, so basically we're going to double our voltage by linking two lemons together. If, if we hook the copper and the zinc together right here we get a new negative this is our new negative and this is our new positive so once we do that we should have double the amount of voltage if we if we touch them and we look at that we're, we're getting almost 1.4 volts um, now that's that's about as much voltage in a double a battery and two lemons now I see where people link a bunch of uh, a bunch of cells together in one lemon. That that doesn't that has not worked for me. Um, I think it's a video trick, but we're going to do whole lemons as, as each cell or as each battery, and we're going to keep doubling up. So we got six of them linked together. We're getting uh, four point. Uh, 4.56 volts out of six lemons uh, uh -oh. and uh, we're gonna come back and try and charge something or light something up or all right it's been a couple days since we was messing with these lemons I let them sit for a couple days because I had other things going on um, we found out for sure that no matter how many uh, nails you put in one lemon, you're not going to get any more voltage. Uh, unless you cut it in half, and then you have two separate cells. Uh, just like uh, we did with the potatoes. Cut these potatoes in half, and you could double the amount of cells. But you have to, you have to link them up just like this. Um, and I also I uh, soldered soldered the uh, the silver ones to make sure we're getting a connection. The zinc nails, and and don't forget if you're going to use zinc nails and try this, you need to scrape that this right here with a knife so that you get a connection so that you can get a reading from your multimeter. Now sitting over a couple days, we did lose about a, a volt, but. Uh, We've also learned that you, uh, if you think you're going to start a fire with a lemon, you're not. That's not going to happen. Um, even with these potatoes linked and all this, I'm getting about 8 volts. Now, you could power a little LED light for, you know, but you're not going to start no fire. It's just not possible. Now, if you've seen somebody do it on the internet or on YouTube or something, they're trolling you. That that's not possible. They have a nine volt battery cut out, cut inside here with wires, and and they're tricking you. That's it's just not going to happen. But uh, and and there's not enough amps to really charge anything like a cell phone. I mean, I might be able to show a reading on my phone, but th this is it's it's just a cool little way to show kids about voltage and show them how to work a multimeter. You're not really going to do anything. I'll show you in a second this this light lighting up. But I promise you, unless you have a hundred of them lemons linked together, 
you're not starting a fire. This is a little LED light. It goes to a car. We can get it to light up a little bit. Like I said, we're getting about 8 volts. What do you think about that, BJ? You're lighting up a light with some potatoes and some lemons linked yeah. together. I can get it to stay for a little bit. Yeah. See? Let's see if one of these but lights But these, light these are so wiggly, so... The thing to learn from this is uh, when you hook these up like this, is, these are no different from, say, hooking up batteries together. And, and when you hook them up from positive to negative and you have, have them like this, it's called hooking them up in a series. Which means if you're getting half a volt for each one of these, just roughly, when you hook them up like this, you're going to double every time. So two would be one volt, four would be two volts, this would be three volts. If, if each one's a half a volt, you just that's how you're doing it. Now if you was to hook them up the other way, from copper to copper, zinc to zinc, you, it, that's called running parallel and you would not double your voltage. The voltage would stay at half a volt, however it would last a lot longer as far as charging something and, and depleting the energy inside it. 